It's a very common problem. The furnace tries to light, but it just won't stay lit. And what does everybody tell you to do? Pull out that flame sensor, grab some cash out of your pocket, use it to clean the flame sensor, reinstall the sensor, turn your furnace back on, you're back in business, stick the cash back in your pocket. And that's where all the videos end. But what do you do if that doesn't work? My name's Mike, I'm an HVAC guy. I'm gonna show you a few extra steps you can take that these home improvement DIY channels just never show you. And these are steps that are just as easy as cleaning the flame sensor and can get this furnace back up and running again. Watch what happens when I remove this green alligator clip. Same exact symptom, totally different problem. What I did there was I disconnected this ground wire that was screwed down on this terminal that connects to the chassis of the burner. And I simply used an alligator clip to connect to that same spot. So when I pulled it off, I disconnected the ground. Now, why does that matter? Now, a flame sensor is part of a very simple circuit. Our control board sends out about 100 volts to the flame sensor. And when we have a flame, we have a very small current that actually travels through the flame itself and connects to the burner chassis. That little current, it's a very small DC current, then travels on the ground wire back to the control board. And when the control board sees that current flow, that's how it verifies there's a flame. So when our flame is on, the current can flow. When the flame is off, it doesn't. So the flame is like a toggle switch for a circuit. Bad, dirty, corroded ground connections on the unit can have the same exact effect as a dirty flame sensor. So just like cleaning the flame sensor, another option if that doesn't work is to go ahead and clean all the grounds. Clean the wire, clean the terminals. You can use a wire brush. Just make sure you got a good solid connection there so that a current can actually flow. Remember, we're talking about a very small DC current, so it doesn't take a lot of resistance to mess this circuit up. Now, sometimes cleaning the grounds and cleaning the flame sensor still doesn't work. You can only clean these things so many times before the flame sensor is just too old and needs to be replaced. So I'm going to show you one last thing, how to use a multimeter to test an actual flame sensor to see if it's at that point. First thing we're going to do is we're going to shut the power off. Then we're going to take the wire connecting directly to the flame sensor and we're going to pull it off. We're going to take our probes on our multimeter. We're going to connect one directly to the flame sensor and the other one to the wire we just removed. So basically what we're doing is we're putting our multimeter directly in the circuit itself. Now, if you don't have alligator clips that connect directly to your probes, uh, you could just use these alligator clips like this, which I'll use here. Now on my multimeter, I'm going to set it to microamps. This is a little U with a capital A. Now do keep in mind with some multimeters, you do have to remove the probe connection and move it to a different spot to take a microamp reading. If you overlook that, you can potentially blow a fuse in your multimeter. Now, once we're in microamps, we're going to set it to DC voltage because that's what we're measuring. We're measuring a micro DC voltage. And then we can go ahead when we're ready and turn the power back on and let our furnace fire up. So we're reading about 2.6, 2.7 microamps on this furnace, and that's pretty good. Anything about two to six is okay. Now, sometimes we can have what's called an intermittent problem with the furnace, meaning that sometimes the furnace fires up and it stays lit. Sometimes it fires up and it keeps going out, so it's not consistent. If you perform this test and you're seeing about one to two microamp reading, sometimes cleaning that flame sensor can get that signal strength back up again and the furnace will run fine until that flame sensor needs to be cleaned again. If you're reading below one microamp, the odds are pretty good that that flame sensor is just done and it needs to be replaced even after you thoroughly clean everything through. 